right. Earlier in our class, we saw uh, EBGP multi hop TTL. Um, outgoing TTL was one for EBGP. 255 for IBGP. And when you try to form neighbor between router six and router four, using loopback show IP BGP summary. Oh, BGP is not active here. Okay, we'll we'll do it one more time. When you try to form neighbor between loopbacks to loopback, first thing is you need to have reachability between those loopbacks. We don't have any routing protocol in between four and six. So we need to provide root information through some way, either by enabling a routing protocol or writing static root. Secondly, we need to tell BGP not to expect the neighbor as connected network, neighbor's network as connected network. How do we say that? We say that by increasing the TTL value. If the TTL value is not one, definitely it means that, it indirectly means that BGP should not expect the neighbor's network as a directly connected network in the routing table. And also, because you are, you are going to form neighbor between the Lubeck interface, the BGP packets that are sent in between like peer messages, TCP sessions, they all need to be sourced from the Lubeck so that the source address will match with the neighbor statement which is configured on the receiving routers. So update source is important. EBGP multi-hop is important. Giving IP route is important to have EBGP between the routers using loopback. Let me see what is already here, show IP. Interface brief, I do see an IP address. So I'll try pinging 200.20.2.4 because there's a reachability IP address is also there in R4. But I will not be able to reach 4.4.4.4, which is the Lubeck address of router 4. Why should I reach 4.4.4? Because I'm going to form neighbor between these this routers using Lubeck. So let me write a static route to provide a reachability. IP route 4.4. Listen, you cannot give default route. Don't expect BGP will use default route to form neighbor. No, I am repeating again. This is this is very practical. You may not see this in the book. I don't know. They some mine might have written it, but you know, if I say default route, any network, any subnet mask, go to router four. That won't be used by BGP. You may ping 44444, but BGP will look for that neighbor 44444 in the routing table. The, if there is no 444 mentioned, if it is only 000 default mentioned, BGP is not going to use it. You have to write precisely for the, for the four network. You need not to match all 32 bit. For the for, for the four network four dot zero 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 network, you need to send the traffic to two hundred dot twenty dot two dot four. You need to precisely say this four network because your router BGP six hundred. Oh. Neighbor is four only. This should match in the routing table.
remote areas is two, three, four, five. So because you say neighbor is four, that four will be needed in the routing table. This number is expected to be seen in the routing table. Only then BGP can use that route. So writing a default route will not make BGP to initiate traffic to this destination. Okay, uh, I'll show you an example. I'll remove this uh, static route. Instead, I'll use Instead, I'll use a default route, you see. IP route, any network, any subnet mask. Send it to 20 dot, sorry, 200.20.2.4. Now, if you check the routing table show IP route, we got a default route. And I'll also do the same on R4. IP route 6.6.6.6 or 6.0.0.0. Sorry, not default. Uh, I need to write default route. So default route, send it to 200.20.2.6. Now try to ping this number. Okay, it's pinging. so we got a default route. If that is the case, I should be pinging now 6.6.6.6 with a source. It is pinging because you got a default route. But that is not sufficient for BGP to initiate its session. That's what I was telling you. But for BGP to initiate, we have to do two more things. One, router BGP 2345, eBGP sorry, neighbor 6.6.6.6, eBGP multi-hop 2. Oh, first of all, I need to define neighbor. Neighbor, sorry, remote AS 600. And then eBGP multi-hop followed by update source because by default it will source with the exit interface 222.2.4 which we don't want we want to source it from Lubeck C. router bgp 600 neighbor 4.4.4.4 eBGP multi-hop to update source loopback zero. Say show IP BGP summary. It is still idle. You know why? When it, when it will show idle? When there is no root found in the routing table. But definitely we do have a root, you see, pinging 4444. With source 6.6.6.6, we do have root. But BGP feels that there is no root. Why? When it checks the routing table for network 4, the network 4 is missing. But we wrote default route thinking that for unknown destinations, the default route will be used. But BGP is not ready to do that do sorry debug ip packet details i'm i'm putting this debug just to show you whether is there any conversation going on in between these two router informing bgp i do something see uh, what is this packet this is normal keeper lives i don't see any packet sourced okay there is 179 packet uh, 179 packet, but it is not really sourced from 444 and 666. Show IPBGB summary, 
show run section router BGP. I've said update Lubeck zero show IP interface brief is the Lubeck zero. Yeah, correct. Let me also check it on R4. Show IP interface brief. Yeah, Lubeck zero. Show run section router BGP. Okay, update source Lubeck zero. Everything looks good. Okay, this is old statement which I have to remove. That this is what the logs that we were seeing. That is what I was seeing. Like, how come a packet, BGP packet with 200? Done. So now the debug won't show us anymore those things that we were seeing earlier. There is no conversation in between these two, you see. You got root, you got EBGP multi hop. Everything is fine there, but the neighbor negotiation is not starting. See how important it is to match with the neighbor's address in the routing table, you see. That's what I'm trying to show you here. Giving default route will not solve the problem. For, for normal routing, the default route will be useful. You can route packet between that Lubeck to this Lubeck. Ping 44444. Four, four, four. Source 6.6.6.6. .6 .6 .6. You see the ping happens. ICMP packet is going. See, all these are ICMP packets. But <clears throat> same source, same destination. TCP packets are not ready to go. BGP packets are not ready to go. I'll also sniff and show you here. You see nothing going in between these two. But when I put the precise route in the routing table, you will see things will start appearing as you expect between six and four, no? Okay, I'm going to six and say IP route. We need not to match with It's okay. Anyway, that is not going to be used. This is what going to be used. Let it be there. It's okay. And the gateway is 1200. Now you see, if I do this on one side, the other side you no need to do really. Why? Because it is TCP based. When R6 is ready, it will initiate the session. As a reply, R4 will start in replying to the TCA, TCP 3 way handshake. And the BGP will come up. But it's a good practice to do in either side. See, as soon as I do this, you will see BGP coming up. Look at this BGP packet started going. It's TCP 179. And you also see this guy is responding, even though it don't have the root, six also responds. In router six, we don't, router four, we don't have static root, but we get packet from router four. Because it's a response packet. If one side is given proper, it is enough. And you see all three way handshake, everything is over here. BGP keep alive messages are going. You see, keep alive messages, open messages, update messages. All went very well. So this one, not many people know. Uh, we have root. Why it is not coming? That is what that question will be always in the mind. Everything is looking good, but neighbor is not coming. Maybe GNS3 problem. Maybe operating system problem. Maybe this version is not something like that they will talk. 
because you know according to them what they have done is right we have a root we have said update source we have increases the TTL even then if it is not coming obviously everyone will think like that but one more thing that they should know is the neighbors address the neighbors network should be seen in the routing table not the default route the neighbors network should be seen. that's important now show ip bgp summary you got the neighbor that's one minute 52 second if you see zero here which means the neighbor has not advertised me anything and you were talking about one command what is the command to see the bgp's uh, advertised route show ip bgp uh, neighbor sorry show show ip bgp um, advertised route do i need to say ipv4 or okay neighbor neighbor address and then advertised route okay so neighbor uh, show ip bgp folder 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 four advertised no pgp no. neighbor folder 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 four advertised route this is the command when you type this you will see what all advertised to this neighbor we have not we have we are not advertising anything now let me try to add a network inter interface loop at 66 ip address 66 dot 66.66.66.2552525255 and now I'll advertise route BGP 600 network mask now if you see show neighbor advertised you will see this neighbor this router is advertising this network to that neighbor. <clears throat> so if you want to know what role we advertise to that neighbor, this is the command. In high-end routers, you will also have a command that will show you what all you learn from this neighbor. Okay, receive route. Here also you have that. Uh, it, but in some my ways, it was not shown. Received routes. Now, if you want to go to that other router and see, you can see there. Uh, because R4 is not advertising any network, I can check from here what has been received from router 6. Show IP BGP neighbor 6.6.6.6 received route. Uh, inbound, so see, this is what I was telling you. Inbound soft reconfiguration not enabled on 6.6.6.6. So something like that, you know, it won't be there on all iOS. So let's try to enable that. Sorry. Uh, enable that. Where it is? Yeah, in R4. Router BGP three two three four five six five neighbor 6.6.6.6 do we have the command in configuration inbound okay now is in see this is already there show ip bgp it is already there no now this is going to consume some space additionally there's going to be a separate database in order to show you this output that's why it is not enabled by default see yeah 
Yep, see. This is show IP BGP. Even before you type that command, you will have this output. Let me go and do that. Wait, I'll undo that what I did. I remove this. Now you see. Show IP BGP received out nothing. But show IP BGP some uh, show IP BGP shows it. What I'm coming to say is the reason why received route is not enabled by default for inbound is this command will fetch the data from uh, some from a from from different location, not from the location where you see this output. Because we already have this output under this command, why do we need to save the same information in another location in order to see the output through this command? You see, when I enable, you're going to have similar output, which is not necessary. Let me compare both and show you. Show IP BGP and show IP BGP received routes. You see, no difference. It is the same output, but coming from two different location. So when you already have this info, why do we need to have the same info in another location just to use this command, not necessary. You no need to even use this command, received routes, because those received routes are already shown under this command, show IP BGP. You got the difference? Output wise, no difference. But why I should not have this enable default? Because you, you no need to, it's already there under BGP database, show IP BGP. Right now, there are three. Advertised route, yes, of course, you know, that is the command that will show what has been advertised. We don't have any other command, we need this. So it is enabled by default. But this is not enabled by default, the reason is you no need it. When you type show IP BGP, the database is going to show you what is already received. Why you need another table to show the same info. That is why it is disabled by default, so let me also disable it, which I enabled to show you. Right, now two things I have clarified here. One is matching the neighbor's address in the routing table is important. Default route will not solve the problem. And it is good to write it on either side. A static route, did I write it here, show IP route? Show IP route static. No, I have only default route. It's recommended to write like this IP route. 60000. Send the packet to 200.20.2.6. Hmm. from all neighbors, but you also have an option there to show, show IP BGP from a particular neighbor, you see, the neighbor's address. So there is no need to type the learned thing. Now you can type this to uh, 6 star 6 star 6 star 6. Mm. Show IP BGP, sorry. Uh, this is to see what network, 66. 
So it shows that 66 is learned from EBGP 6.6.6.6, which is advertised from the AS number 600. And show IP BGP, you know, this command will show you a database with all the learned routes. And if you want to know from where you learned, you need to see this next stop. This is learned from router six. If it is learned from router three, there also you will see next. Stop. Let me see whether I have a next stop command. Mm -hmm. Next stop or equal command. Show IP BGP. Neighbor to show only neighbor. I don't want to see neighbor. I show like PHP. This is for a particular prefix IPV for IPV for. Unicast, which is default actually, what I'm typing is default. Same output only, it's like, um, can I have an IP address? See, if you want to filter and see only for one network, right? next stop command. There is no command to filter out. You can only type like this, show IPBGP. So answer to your question is yes, show IPBGP is going to show you all the networks that are learned from the peers. It may be an IBGP peer or EBGP peer. Both are going to be seen here. If it is from IBGP, then you will see local preference. But here, no, no local preference because this is not local. It's coming from other autonomous system. The autonomous system from where this is coming is 600. It shows the AS from where it has originated. And if you have many AS in between, it will also show you the path. That's why it shows, uh, it, is saying, it is said as path vector protocol. BGP as a path vector routing protocol. All right, now. Mm, yeah, question. 